I guess. Uh, hey, YouTube folks. Uh, this will be a short... Uh, I don't know how to make this short. Uh, first of all, I'm feeling a little out of it. I don't know why. Uh, I was, like, super tired earlier today. I had a nap. Still kind of not, not fully there. Also, I have a friend who's injured at her house. Uh, and she's got a friend watching her now. But uh, I'm going to go down there in a bit. Because he has to go work. The night shift. Oh, on the night shift. The sweet sound coming down on the night shift. Uh, so we're just going to kind of mess around a little bit. Uh, I did buy some stuff. Uh, hold on. I could just upgrade this weapon. I, mean, I guess I should wait. Until the durability. Hey. Yeah, I've gotten very few items that have a grip. Like, I'm sure the... We were talking about if it's worthwhile to upgrade the uh, durability mod. Because the only... And there's not very many items, at least not yet, that allow you to... Put a grip. Like, get it. He don't allow you to get a grip. Okay, I guess. There we go. So it, it's definitely not very useful now, but later on, it should be. Invest in today for the future tomorrow. All right, Wendigo. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Everybody's talking about hurting themselves and then not going to the doctor. I would never do that. If I hurt myself, I would immediately go to the doctor. Also, fuck the French. Not, I mean, well, in real life, too. But especially in Warhammer 2. Having a lot of problems with... Oh, wow, that guy. Let's see what that is. Oh, wow, 51 damage. That's actually higher than other stuff. I also bought uh, a katana, and I, I think I bought this axe. Because we got, like, we well, we had, like, 10 grand. Uh, but that's that's actually really good. Uh, I'll save that for later. I really should be using my lower damage weapons. I use the shark teeth. Cause I like shark teeth. Hey, mouse wheel changes your your item. Not your weapon, your item. All right, we're gonna use shark teeth. Uh, but I upgraded a few things. I uh, upgraded the flame tip. I upgraded uh, your mom. You're welcome. I mean, I guess I updated her for us more than anything. I think we got all these items. Let's go. I don't forget tomorrow. Well, okay, depending on what happens tomorrow, uh, the schedule or the plan at least. Hey, boys. Aiden. <coughs> He's like, could you hit him or something? I got it's something like, for you, motherfucker. Oh, do you? Thank you. It's super right nice. Asshole. Oh, good. He's making noises. There's zombies behind me. Who the thought? Any the other ones? Almost. I'll give you a horn to play, you piece of shit. Oh, hey. Oh, look, you brought your XP. I mean, your friends. This should be fun. Should be. Zombies, please. Can we not have like two seconds without you guys banking up the area? Please. You're done. Am I though? Come get some. Come on, jackass. Didn't really, really give me that. Boosh. Yeah. He wasn't super happy about that. 
surprise. You, you were like there. You didn't do anything surprising. Easy does it. Guess who? Fucking get us. He knows. Got you now. Yeah, back up into that. I got something for you. Nice moves. A shot put scholarship? I get you any. Who's like, oh man. I can't wait to watch the shot put championships. Damn it. You can technically open this car, the back of the car. What's that called? The trunk? Well, you're still long, youngish, not longish, Gage. So you can get away with that. Youngish. No, wait, no. Uh, yes, that. How much does this heal for? God, that takes so long to heal. It says two seconds, but it feels like about a day and a half. Not gonna make many, because I probably will end up just being like, fuck it. I'm gonna upgrade it. Oh, that's right. We were kind of avoiding those. And they really, really like to give you quests that are nighttime quests. Like, they like it a lot. I feel like half of them have been night quests. Which is fine, but it's not night very long, so it's like... Dang it, I know it doesn't technically matter. I could just fast forward to night all the time, but... It doesn't feel right. Maybe why am I avoiding the safe zone? We're gonna go get one right now, actually. Oh, uh, the windmill specifically I'm avoiding. Because I don't know how this faction thing works, because it doesn't really do a good job of explaining that. And I don't know if I can change them later. It seems to just be... Right now, it just gives them to whoever is in charge of that section for the time. Uh, or, like, whenever you do it. Detected. And I don't know if, like, later on, you can just assign it to whatever you want. And if that's the case, I don't know if you can uh, change it. And I don't want it to go to the hippies. So that's why I haven't been grabbing them. Because they haven't really explained that. Because we're, we're not to that point in the story, but yet the... the What the fuck is running their mouth? Oh, there's a rest up there. Hold up. So I didn't want to. What the hell? Uh, there you go. Inhibitor container detected. So I didn't want to do. Grab a bunch, and then it's like, oh, you're fucked. You can't switch them over. Oh, windmills are automatic all the time. Okay. It's the power in the water that you do that? Okay. Is this a challenge, hey, dude? Slowpoke, what's your problem? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're faster than a rocket. Let's find out. What are you babbling about? A wager. Race you to the roof. Bet you I can get there before you. Unless you're afraid of losing. Wouldn't blame you if you were, slowpoke. Uh, I don't really feel like racing right now. Sorry, kid. I don't have time to play. Ooh, you are afraid, ain't you, slowpoke? All right, duct tape nipples. We'll come back for your ass. 
Uh, but I wanted to look at a. Uh... Oh, safe house. Wonder if they've. Uh, wonder if they fixed that hotkey problem yet. It's almost night. That's cool. I don't think I saw a patch. They haven't fixed it yet. Ugh, that's unfortunate. I don't think I can be able to climb this. Uh. The fuck? Random explosions are my favorite. I don't know if that guy gets eaten by a zombie soon. You can probably grab... Oh, you can't even grab that edge. Okay. I guess you have to go inside. Get up there. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hey, look, a gym. I hang out at these all the time. In real life. Look, not everybody can afford the Madonna nipple covers. Those guys make and do in a post-apocalyptic world. You don't want a nip slip in these times, let me tell you. Oh, mines. Uh, can you pick up mines? I mean, without them blowing up? I like how each of these guys died on a mine. I'm going to go with no. Nope. Wait, was there a way to the roof? Yeah, I didn't see if there was. Wait, where the fuck am I? Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney. What? Yet. You have to find him. How the fuck am I here? He has to be in there somewhere. No, I don't want to do this right now. Hurry. No, we're not doing this right now. What the fuck you put me in here for? Jesus Christ, holy fuck. It put me way out in the middle of nowhere. It was way over here. Holy shit. Well, I guess we're not doing that right now. <laughs> they really threw us way the fuck out. They don't even want to do any missions. Yeah, that was... Like, it really wanted me to do this quest, I guess. But I mean, halfway across the map. Because there was definitely closer safe zones, too. I don't know why I did that. Very weird. We can go look and check this house out. I want to go back and see where this supposedly painfully obvious thing was, but... Need so much lavender.
Did they do any patches this week? Street level, and yeah, I don't really feel like going with it right now. Uh, let's hit the UV up, then we'll go with that store. Oh, yeah, I have skill points. Oh, that's right. Um, I think we were said we we're gonna get the stomp. Yeah, the stomp will be overall the most useful. Like even though enemies don't get knocked down as much as they used to, so it won't be as crazy good, but it'll still be pretty good, I think. Dropkick is a lot of fun. Dropkick's one of the more fun skills to use. For sure. But usefulness-wise, it's... It's it's very... Uh, it can be very... Location-dependent. If you're not near a, a trap or a, a big drop, a lot of times it's not super great. Street side. Uh, no, stupid hour. Shut up. I mean, on this difficulty, yeah, it's probably okay to pick the fun, more fun skills. Shark caging somebody. There's a. Uh... God damn it! Where's the entrance to this fucking place? Kind of already over trying to find how to get in here. Uh, probably easier to find it on a different roof. By the time we find out how to get into this damn place, it'll be daytime. It's combat skill trees, man. Yeah, I've, we'll see. Like I said, the stomp was OP in the first one. Uh, Again, I will say Stomp was the best skill in the first game, period. Ah, for fuck's sake, it's on the other side. Are we just on the other side? But I'll get Dropkick, too. Kyle Crane, not Roof Crane. I like how your character's like, heh, who? Oh shit, hold it to me, dude. Where the fuck is the entrance? Alright, I'm about over trying to get into this one. Okay, it looks like it is right there, but there's a piece of shit right there. Hey. Uh, we can, uh... 
Oh, this one actually is. Oh, we know it's not. I thought it had uh, mods. Actually, we can do the other mod too, because it's like just at. Was there one? I didn't see it. Uh. <sighs> also, I don't know when that was. I want to get in the store. Please. Fuck off, Howler. Come on. Wait, where, where was the... Where was the thing at? I don't feel like killing 200 zombies. By the time we kill the goddamn zombies, it'll be daytime. Oh, for God's sake. They could definitely tone out. They could definitely chill the fuck out with the, with the screamer zombies. They get old. There's just way too many of them. There's way too many of them. But I could, if I can avoid having to go down there with those fuck nuts. I think we went in here before. Was this, this where we tried to go in first and there was nothing there? Or it was just like an empty room? Closet. Yeah, this doesn't. I wouldn't go that far. It's definitely... There's definitely more bugs than I would like, but... It's not like... Oh, here we go. Maybe. Oh, no. This... No, here we go. Here's a hole. <coughs> oh, son of a bitch. There's more bugs than I would like, but it's not, like, extreme. Unless you mean Ubisoft game as in, like... You just get thrown into a map and there's, like... Like, here's 2,000 markers with stuff to do. Which, I mean, I guess it's... I mean, the first one was like that, too. Not to the next... Oh, wait, wait, it's this place. Hold up. Is this even the right one? Yeah, okay. We were in this one before. This is where that doofus was holed up. That's right. I mean, they restock it. So it's totally cool to come back. Yeah, one, they just spam volatiles all over the place. <coughs> so it made, again, it, it kind of, it was one of those things where at the beginning, it's like, oh shit, this is super scary. And, but then like by mid game, it's kind of like, ah shit, this is really annoying. Or you could just ignore them. It wasn't, a lot of times it wasn't even annoying. You could... Basically, I know, I know, Jesus. You could basically ignore them, and then, but if you had something to do, you just uh, run from them, toss down your like your UV lights or whatever, or no, it's the flares, I think. Toss down the flares until you lost them, and then you know go about your business. So it was just more of a an inconvenience, eventually. But it, that's super hard to avoid. But they did really spam the shit out of them. <laughs> kind of like they do the howlers on this one. Like they just had. Ooh, nice. Get one of these. Use one of your weapons, you idiot. He's punching it with his hand. Fucking Chad over here. <laughs> I don't need tools. I got the most dangerous weapons available. In my hand right now. I mean, it, I mean, it, it is my hand. My hands are the most dangerous weapon. I'm Aiden. 
Uh, but they get it. They definitely do the same thing with with the uh, howlers in this one. No, howlers are actually kind of worse. Did you not open this before? Oh, look from the inside. We probably did. Oh, right, this deal. Uh, so I want to see, because I remember pop in there. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know how they could have done the timer without making it annoying slash a nuisance. It's not, again, it's, it's one of those things that's like, uh, I gotta deal with this, but it's fairly easy to deal with because they give you a lot of, uh, at least mushrooms. But hell, even the immunity boosters, they give you a bunch. So it just becomes a deal. It's like, uh, I've got to switch over because I'm tired of hearing him, him bill into my ears. <laughs> Wait, how did I get in there before? Oh, oh, the vent. That's right. I remember. I remember. Oh, shit. You cannot use items while you're in the vent. <laughs> the Bill cough. He does straight up sound like Bill. Poor Bill. Well, I mean, he did it himself. He's never... I mean, he knew. He knew the dangers of smoking, but he did it anyway. So does that just open this without... Yeah. So I have to lockpick it. <coughs> See, look. Now you have motivation to pick it even faster. I mean, the mushrooms don't give you much, but they give you a ton of them. Take your time. Yeah, there's way too many howlers. Holy shit. They put way too many in. It wouldn't be so bad if, like, they wouldn't, again, if they wouldn't howl, like, while you're beating the dog shit out of them. Like, if you get up on them and then just hit, you know, hitting them so hard they're staggered, they shouldn't be able to still call out their friends. That should be enough. Like, I get you're supposed to stealth them, but even that's a big pain in the dick, right? Because it's like there's so many of them, or there's so many zombies around, that a lot of times that's just not, um, it's not feasible to get them without the other zombies, right? So you, so sometimes your best bet is to run up to them and like try to take them out real quick. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And the problem is you don't really know, like they don't, when it act like if you're beating on them and they howl, they don't even make a noise. It just it works. It just works regardless. Like they just all of a sudden it says chase, and it's like, oh well, he didn't howl, so I thought I stopped it, but I guess not. So I would say either that's a yeah, we definitely want to go down there. I'd say either make it so there's less howlers, or honestly, preferably. I would just make it so that if you kill them fast enough, they can't howl. Or, you know, if you're if you're banging on them, right? Because you're stunning them. So they can't really howl. I think that would be fine. If, if you want to keep the density but do that, I'd be cool with that. Also, because more of them means more trophies. And I'm all about those trophies. Yeah, they should definitely not stun or howl while stunned. Definitely not. So, yeah, I would, do I would totally be cool with that. Because, like I said, the trophy aspect has made it so now when I see the runners in particular, I'm like, shit, yeah. More of those, please. I want more upgrades.
See? I mean, I one-shot him with a spear, and he still screamed. If he starts that animation, nothing in the, nothing in this world will stop him. Aiden. He's like, small ledge? Don't mind if I do throw myself over the... Because he saw me for like a split second. I hit him with the spear. He died. Then the chase started. Thank you. Okay. No, no, no. I need the weapon. No, don't throw. They're like, ah, nope. Chase ended. Sorry. We got to go. Damn it. No. Oh. All right. Uh, let me, I guess, get to a safe. Well, I guess this is a safe zone. How often can you get it? You might know how to force a save because I need to wrap up. Yeah, I love killing shit at night for the, not just the, the trophies, but the bonus XP too. There's no, we are, I already looted that one. Oh, I hated the runners in the first one. They were just really boring. Like, they just, they're just tedious as fuck to fight. They're about as, they weren't as tedious as the humans were, but almost. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I loot something. Hold on. Let me loot something. I'll see if it forces a save. I bet it will. Just like Dark Souls. I, mean, I just want to make sure it saves. And then we'll go back to that safe spot. And I got I gotta head out. Damn it, just one eye. Hmm. They haven't fixed the Kaldar thing either. Did they do any patches this week? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that, that shit was dumb. Or stuff would infin infinitely crawl out of, uh, crawl out of black holes. Yeah, that shit was tedious as balls. I think just as a player, that kind of shit feels bad, right? Because it's like, when there's a lot of enemies, but you kill them all, like, it feels nice. It's like, yeah, like, I dealt with that enemy, but I, you know, there's a ton of enemies, but I dealt with it. When you do when when you have infinite spawning shit, like it just it just feels it just feels bad. Because it immediately takes you out, right? Because you know, oh, it's an infinite spawner. Like you know it's a game mechanic, right? It it kinda takes you out as well. I'm gonna assume it's safe. Uh so Yeah, I've I've seen the holes. Because I've, I've, like, looked and seen them. I'm like, oh, that's where zombies spawn. And, the, and yeah, they don't seem to abuse that anywhere near as much as the first game. Uh, one one place they will abuse spawning zombies, uh, sometimes right out of thin air, is a chase. What are you doing standing here all creepy? Um, is when you're in a chase, like that one time, we were in a building with a bunch of sleeping zombies, no runners around, we, we went up a chase level or something, and all of a sudden there was two or three runners, like, right on top of me. Like, they literally, I, like, they spawned off camera, like, behind me, but I had just looked behind me. There was nothing there. Turned back around. It triggered the, the next level to hunt. And then all of a sudden I was getting hit in the back by zombies. Uh, but that was... So I would say those times are really the... The only ones that in scripted events, obviously, uh, scripted events, they spawn stuff. But I mean, that's like, like if a quest, like I go to open a door and then like, oh, a zombie come from behind, even though there was nothing there. Like that's, I mean, that's kind of standard. That's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, they definitely don't abuse that anywhere near as much as they did in one. Holy shit. They did it all the time in one. All the time. Uh, so here's the plan. Oh, let me, uh, YouTube folks. Yeah, again, sorry for the short one. I just, I got stuff come up. 
But uh, you two folks, thanks y'all for watching. I'll see you next time.